The boardwalk construction has begun, and this wouldn't have been possible without the 1% Tourism Initiative. Mayor Rhodes, why is the boardwalk so important? One of the first questions that tourists ask us when they come to town is, where is the boardwalk? And we have not had a boardwalk for years. It's been promised and promised and promised. But we've taken the action to build this boardwalk. We have the funds to do it now. We got some great bids off the construction companies. The boardwalk has already started, and it's going to stretch from 14th Avenue Pier to 2nd Avenue Pier. It's going to be one of the key factors that's going to help revitalize the downtown area. It's something that's, that's going to draw more tourism to an area that has been left, I'd guess you say, a little bit of a vacancy because of the pavilion being torn down and the rides taken away. We think this will help rejuvenate that downtown area, something that's, that they've been asking for for a long time. We're very excited about the boardwalk. We feel that it's going to be a, a, a world-class boardwalk with a lot of opportunity for a lot of activities that's going to be all conducive to families. The Oceanfront Boardwalk uh, Project is something that we're very excited about downtown. Uh, it's been a long time coming that uh, the city has worked on this project. Uh, my organization, the Oceanfront Merchant Association, has been in full support uh, of this boardwalk. We think it can be something great for the locals as well as the tourists uh, to bring people downtown and to bring revitalization, revitalization to the downtown. Well, I think that the boardwalk is something that Myrtle Beach has needed for a long time and it's one of the number one questions that tourists ask when they come up here to the 2nd Avenue Pier. They pretty much ask for the fish biting and where's the boardwalk? And the boardwalk that we have now, you know, is a small boardwalk that has seen its better days. And for Myrtle Beach to be able to um, aggressively build this boardwalk in today's uh, worldwide recession, you know, it shows a lot for Myrtle Beach and for our mayor and our uh, city, city council, you know, that they would take the, the thought and you know, and, the, and would do the things that would lead up to be able to build this. And it actually is a great time to be building it to show that Myrtle Beach is still here and that they're still strong and it still is a major tourist destination. And uh, with the construction costs and stuff right now, you know, it's a, hopefully going to be a win-win situation for everyone. The city and the county have been at odds over the Myrtle Beach Airport for years. Um, now those differences seem to have disappeared recently. Uh, Mayor Rhodes, are you pleased with the new airport terminal plans? Uh, yes, I am, Steve. The, being able to work with every county council and solving our differences that we've had on the terminal and being able to move forward, then that's the way you get things done. That's the way you operate as a leader. Leadership is important to be able to have communication within our other government officials. If we didn't have that ability, I do not think this airport would be built now. We're on the way. We're going to build a new airport on the Grand Strand.